hello everyone welcome to the video and in this video we are going to see how we can perform clustering algorithm within power bi yes you heard it right you don't need python or any advanced machine learning knowledge you can directly perform clustering within power bi and in this video we are going to see how you can do that right but before we move forward in the video let me tell you that we have an amazing workshop on power bi and data analytics the link is in the description and we will talk more about it later in the video do you want to convert boring looking data in excel just like this to stunning looking dashboards in power bi just like this if you want to learn all of this then join me in my 9 rupees power bi domination workshop now let's get back to our problem so the thing is in this particular scenario let's say we have given a data set right and we have to group them somehow but there is no fixed criteria for grouping it so for example as you can see in front of you you have a data set right this is basically a iris flower data set and these are the various species of iris right so it's called as setosa versicolor and virginica right and these particular species right have some features like have some particular sepal length sepal width petal length petal width etc and accordingly they are classified as which species uh, they belong to right but what if you have not given the species column at all right you have just given some numbers some numbers and you have to group them together you have to group them somehow you need to create clusters how can you do that there is no fixed criteria right you need some kind of machine learning technology to do those things now where it would be useful so for example you have some email data right or maybe some customer data where you need to cluster your customers based on various pattern maybe it's their uh, behavior of visiting your website visiting your mobile apps or something like that but you don't have any particular cluster of your customers how you can do that within power bi you can actually perform those kind of clustering complex clustering where you have multiple data and there is no set rule on how you should divide the things right so we are going to do exactly the same thing okay and we are going to do this uh, in this particular data set right so you can say okay we have the species right so what we should cluster so yes we have the species so that we can validate how good is our clustering right but we will not take this species into account we will just use the species as our final validation right so how good our clustering is so for that we are going to use this species thing okay now uh, let's do it from the scratch right uh, so i will uh, do it from entirely from the scratch so what i'll do is um, i will search here for the um, iris data set right and definitely uh, for the iris data set you can get uh, various links it's a very popular data set but let's uh, go to this particular gist right so this is a github gist someone has uh, pasted this data set here so let me just go here and here we have this uh, data set right so i'll click on this raw link okay and if you have seen our previous videos you would have known that how we actually uh, get the data from any link so i will do that so i will click here and click on web because that's a csv link um, a https link so here i can just uh, paste that particular link uh, you can see that at the end we have iris.csv so i will click on ok so it should load the data so now you can see we have given a preview of the data and let me click on ok and this is the data that we have right so let me just uh, name it something better so iris main something like that right and you can see we have this much data right uh, we don't have any primary key here okay and i think we need that but when we are going to need that i will tell you uh, when we you know research more into it right so i will just click on close and apply before we move on 
into the topic, let me inform you that data analysis and business intelligence has become a crucial part of any industry today. And I guess you won't like to lag behind others, right? Well, if you want to become irreplaceable in your data analytics career, join our three hours Power BI and data analysis mastery workshop in which we will not only teach you how to perform top notch data analysis, but will also make you build stunning dashboards so that you can become one of those top 1% of Power BI users who snatch some high paying jobs. So what are you waiting for? Join our workshop by clicking the link in the description below. Now let's get back to our topic. So the data is now loaded and we can see that we have our table here. Okay. Now let's try to create a, a table visualization, right? Where we will uh, post all our, uh, basically all the columns that we have. Okay. So I will click everything that I have. Uh, yes, these things. Now you see the problem. We have so many rows of data, right? We have so many rows of data. But what it does, it actually summed all the sepal length, uh, summed all the uh, sepal length, sepal width, sep petal length, petal width, and just give us the three colors because there was no uh, column, right? There is no identifier column or unique identifier column for each row, okay? Uh, obviously, we can uh, remove this particular, right? Uh, we can remove this, uh, make it don't summarize so that uh, we get uh, entire rows of data, but still we are uh, missing an index column here, okay? Um, and then uh, if I'll do something like this, like don't summarize and all this thing, okay? Don't summarize. So now you see uh, we have this full data set, right? And then if I click here, you can see that there is an option called as automatically find clusters, right? So let me click that, okay? So once I click that, it is giving me an error. It is saying that clustering supports one dimension and one to 15 measures, right? So you can provide multiple measures, but you cannot have so many fields, right? That is the issue happening. But uh, we want to find clusters, right? Uh, so what we should do? So one way is to we will create the measures instead of having these columns we will create four measures and these are very simplistic measures if you see um, i have already created these measures actually you see these uh, this is for petal length and simply sum of petal length and this is for petal width simply sum of petal width then sepal length simply sum of sepal length and then sepal width simply sum of sepal width okay uh, so we can we have that those things so what we will do is now uh, let's create uh, let's delete this table particular table okay now what i'll do is i will create another table okay now i will take again the same thing okay we'll take same thing but here we will take the species and then all these measures right this measure this measure this measure and this measure right but again you see that problem because uh the measures needs to have some aggregation like some right so we are getting some of those things so here if i uh, put some cluster that actually doesn't have any meaning to it okay because there is no meaning of you know grouping this uh three rows and sum up sepal width or even if you take average it doesn't have any sense okay so what should we do uh, what we should do is we need to have a identifier column here okay so we can add an identifier column using in power query okay it's very easy so all we have to do is here if you come and then if you go to add column then you have this option called as index column right so if you click here from one it will create an index column which you can see i already have it here index column so now if you see this data set and this data set, these are two identical data set now. Okay. So once we have this, right, I can basically close and apply. Okay. Now we have uh, the identity column. So what will happen? You will see now. Okay. So. Now you see now. I can add index column here as well. So once I add index column, now I'm getting every row, right? So each row, because now I have a unique identifier for each row, okay? 
so now i can remove the species not required because now we want to group right now you see these are all four measures and this is just one column right one column so now if i click on automatically find clusters it will find clusters okay so here my cluster name is let me name it as species it's not actually species it doesn't have any idea about species it is just clustering using an algorithm known as k means clustering right so species cluster something like that cluster of index and how many cluster we want right we can increase it it will first of all try to automatically find clusters maybe two clusters or three clusters but we can also provide some numbers like let's say if i want three clusters i can provide three and click on ok right so now it will create a cluster using a clustering algorithm right and you see it is automatically added here so it created cluster one cluster two cluster three and you can see the same thing here i already prepared it and you can see we have clusters and i also added this species column here so you see cluster three is a setosa but here also cluster two also setosa so you see there are some kind of errors there but um, yeah that is obvious because it doesn't have any idea on how to group the things but it does some fair job actually so if i'll go to this page one okay so here i have created some scatter plot now in this scatter plot i have sepal length sepal width but here i have colored it based on the various species right so this one is zetosa this one versicolor and this color is virginica and now here i have provided those clusters that we created now if you see right if you see it is clustering this one as a one cluster and this two as two separate clusters okay so for setosa it is actually dividing the setosa into two clusters okay and versicolor and virginica it is getting uh, basically making the virginica and versicolor as a same cluster this thinking and here also you see versicolor and virginica are like two clusters here but here if you see our clustering algorithm considered them as mostly one cluster and something here and something here okay so there are some kind of error but you can see in real problems you will not have this uh, categorization like we have we have here setosa virginica versicolor and then we that's why we are side by side comparing our clustering algorithm result with the uh, flower species result right but in uh, real scenarios you won't even have this uh, categorization now whatever you have at the end of the day that is the ground truth for you because for clustering algorithm there is actually nothing for you to compare okay so if 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 it has been a real use case the data set that you will be having is just these four columns that's it and then you need to find out clusters there would there would not be any species column where you would compare it right but i think you got a fair good idea on how to cluster your data set in case if there is a need for clustering let's say maybe you are doing some customer segmentation problem or market segmentation problem something like that and you don't have a particular uh, clustering for your customers or for the different uh, markets that you have so you can use this technique within power bi you don't have to know python and all these algorithms right so i hope you learned a lot from this video and i will see you next time Please do like, comment, share the video and subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Also, do check out our workshop link in the description. We'll see you there. Thank you.